Hi, my name is Austin Gill, and I like to build fun and interesting things for the web. In my videos, I'm going to be building out new projects, checking out different technologies, and sharing the things that I learn along the way. So if that sounds interesting to you and you want to tag along, then why don't you subscribe and we can build something fun together. How's it going? Uh, today, I wanted to look at another cool feature in an app that we recently built in our web dev office hours. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at this uh, freaking fast forecast. We're looking at it in a Samsung emulated device. And as you can imagine, this is a forecasting app that is designed to be freaking fast. So what did we do to make it freaking fast? Uh, one of the things we did was pay attention to how we're loading images on this page. So we have a bunch of text, we have some emojis, and then as part of the UI, we definitely want to include some images that show a little bit about what the weather forecast looks like for the given region. So uh, what is interesting about this? Well, we have you know the current, uh, the current weather, we have the hourly weather, and we have the daily forecast. And I wanna show a little bit about uh, what this network requests look like. So we have all of our initial load, uh, but then I'm going to clear out this network request so we can uh, inspect it in a moment. So if I go down to my hourly table and I see you know, 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., and I scroll off to the side and I keep going and I'm seeing more and more time come in, eventually I'm going to get to some icons that I have not seen before. So you see how the network request just went off? That's because this icon here has not been loaded onto the page up until the point that we actually need it. So if we keep scrolling, maybe we'll see some other ones that we haven't seen. Uh, so we've got some clouds, we've got some more clouds. It's not looking great, uh, but if we keep, oops, went too far. Uh, so it looks like, yeah, we've got some nighttime clouds, I guess. Uh, and then we can keep going. And if I go a little bit quicker, maybe we'll get one more. Um, okay, no, but uh, what happened here was we're essentially lazy loading some of these images uh, to only request them on demand. The reason why that's an effective performance improvement is because if the user comes here and they're really only interested in seeing the current weather and maybe the next couple of hours and the next couple of days, then uh, it doesn't make sense for us to have them download all of these images that we have throughout this 48 hour period especially considering that those 48 hour periods could contain a whole bunch of different weather and a whole bunch of different icons to represent that weather. So we can save the user some, some uh, data from downloading and we can improve the performance of our application by only loading these images on demand. And how are we doing that, you may ask? It's actually really, really simple. If we look at each of these images, we can see that we have the image tag. Let me see if I can bump this up a little bit so we can get better view. Boop, boop, boop. Uh, we have our image tag. And of course we have our alt text explaining what that is. And then we have the width and the height. And right here, ah, right here, we have this attribute called loading and we set it to lazy. So just by putting that attribute on it, the browser is going to say, ah, okay. So you don't want this image when the HTML loads, you want this when this image actually lands in the viewport. So it's going to wait to download that resource until that image uh, is in the viewport. And one thing that we wanna do uh, just to be safe is for, I think these first three, we actually leave that loading state to the default value, which is eager. So you can choose to omit that attribute or set it to eager if you don't wanna lazy load some images, or you can set it to uh, lazy if you want to lazy load some things. And one last tip uh, here is, if you are going to be lazy loading images onto a page, it's a good idea to include the width and height attribute so that when the browser uh, paints that or allocates space for that image onto the page, uh, you're not gonna get some image shift when the image finally downloads. It will it'll save that sort of, in our case, 64 by 64 uh, pixel region uh, and avoid any sort of awkward layout shift when the image finally downloads. So that's the hot tip for today. If you want to make your applications run faster and you have the opportunity to do so, uh, definitely give lazy loading images uh, a look. And it's really cool that it's built into the platform natively. So that's my tip, hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.